Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And first things first, gotta give a shout out to Dave Marks. His comment in the last video is what inspired me to do this one. If you guys wanna check that video out, link is in the description below. It's the one where I talk about Anime Log and their YouTube channel. Basically, them teaming up with Japanese companies to bring anime in a free format here onto YouTube. But uh, if you wanna know more about that, check that video out. But I had mentioned bootleg VHS in either that video or the one before that where we talked about Kiss Anime. And I just wanted to show you guys what I have left here. This is uh, all I have left of my bootleg anime VHS from back in the day. And as I had previously mentioned in the video beforehand, in one of, one of those videos beforehand, this is how we had to kind of um, get our anime prior to the internet. We had to find fan subs. A lot of times they were uh, subbed from either Laserdisc that were released or, you know, people that actually, you know, got a hold of the stuff in Japan, recorded it onto video, and then they would do fan subs of it. But this is all pretty much I have left. Uh, as you can see, that one there at the very end, though, this one is is a uh, DVD. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in just one moment. But these are all I have left of those infamous tapes. And like I said, once we would get a hold of these as anime fans, a lot of tape trading went on. As you can see, some would be recorded like this right here this was um it says robotech on there but that's actually um across those were actually copies of tapes from the perfect collection i believe that uh eventually was released by harmony gold and we would just record them and trade them with each other for people that didn't have them and just that's how yeah that's how anime got popularized underground uh we'll go ahead and take a closer look at these though Okay, so now we get a bit of a closer look here. For those of you wondering about the clamshell cases, uh, these were some of these tapes were actually ones that I bought from a place here called Florida Oriental Trading, which unfortunately no longer exists. I think they closed down about maybe 10 years ago at this point. Could be wrong about that. Math could be off there. Uh, but I believe about 10 years, they might have closed down maybe 10, 9 or 10 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. But anybody who is a part of the Florida scene here, or Orlando specifically, you probably remember that place if you're an anime fan because it was an import shop, basically. They had a lot of stuff from Japan there, a lot of stuff imported. They had some bootleg stuff. Uh, more, specifically, more specifically, it was probably VHS, uh, anime VHS of stuff that had not been released or licensed here. At that point, maybe sometimes it was stuff that had already been licensed, but maybe wasn't that far along just yet. And I'll explain that in just a moment. But you can see this is Saint Seiya, the movies one and two. A lot of these videos that I have here are ones that I got throughout the 90s from early to late 90s. But uh, this one, I can't remember specifically when I got it, but I know I got it from there. I know I got it from Florida Oriental Trading. And uh, I had seen Saint Seiya prior to purchasing this particular tape i had seen it via satellite at my uncle's house over there in puerto rico as as it was known uh los caballeros del zodiaco was how i was first introduced to it and i had always had interest to see it in its japanese form so once i saw this tape of course i had to buy it because it was in the japanese format with subtitles and i believe this was made from a laser disc because some of these were copies of laser discs that were fan subbed or maybe i already might have had some subs on them but if they weren't already subbed there was fan sub groups of course and that's how people got their anime that was not released over here yet or licensed over here yet they would get fan subs and trade the tapes um and i'll give you a little bit more of an example of that in just a moment there's saint say yeah and then over here focusing up over here this is a copy of the anime known as uh, Dirty Pair Flash that I have there, the first two volumes of that, and then we have Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball series, which um, by this time that I got these tapes, I, I had got some of these I got and some of these were given to me, I remember, because my friend was getting them as well. But uh, these, by, by this time, Dragon Ball had already been licensed over here in the U.S., but there was... Um, a, you know there was episodes that hadn't been seen yet and obviously i wanted to see it in its original form but um same thing with these last two volumes of dragon ball z that i have here by this time that i got these tapes i believe uh dragon ball z had already been licensed over here in the u.s these were just episodes that they hadn't gotten to yet they were towards the end of the series which i had already gotten to by that point these were early though these were before 
these were early Dragon Ball Z uh, bootleg tapes that I had gotten prior to um, the series being licensed here. And these, man, these clamshells are really old. So you can see here, I'll just kind of show you all here real quick. Let me pull this out here for a moment. Oops, sorry about that. But um, yeah, this is an older one. This was one that was gotten prior to the release. Man, it's all torn up. As you can see, it's really old. But just you can see here, it's just kind of labeled right there. Vegeta Saga, but this was one of the older ones. That was prior to Dragon Ball Z being licensed over here. And I remember there was a lot of enthusiasm about Dragon Ball Z over here prior to its um, being licensed in the, uh, I think, when was it? 95, 96, when it was licensed over here? I can't remember the, the exact date, but there was a lot of enthusiasm in the anime community about Dragon Ball Z long before it was licensed over here. And as you can see here, this was a movie, uh, one of the movies that, you know, would end up being released over here much later, but got it on VHS prior to that. Uh, Power Stone, this one's one of the later ones that I got because it was given to me by a friend uh, we, who got it in 1999. Uh, this was, uh, he got this VHS after the release of the game. And, uh, you know, he gave me that tape. Uh, that's actually a DVD for Berserk. That, I think, uh, I got that actually probably in early 2000s, but I'll get... I'll, I'll get back to that in just a moment. But it, these right here, as you can see, these are actually, what these are, are um, tape copies of the uh, Robotech Perfect Collection, Super Dimensional Fortress, Micross. Those were the releases, the official releases by Harmony Gold of the series in its original format. And these were actually made as copies to give to somebody, which is, that was a common practice too. Uh, you know, copying tapes and stuff like that. But... More often than not, you would see stuff like this, you know, stuff that was self-labeled of stuff that was unreleased. These were ones that were actually copied from an actual release. And they were, uh, I, I believe I copied these with the intention of giving them to somebody that had wanted to see them, but I think they, they ended up not wanting them after the fact. But anyways, but this is how you would see tapes basically prior to broadband internet and things like that and, and uh, video files being available online. This is how people would have to get unreleased anime. Uh, we'd have to get together, trade tapes of stuff that we didn't have. So some of these uh, were given to me after I had traded for some of them. And others were just given to me because people had already seen them. So Because that's, that's kind of how it was. Once you were done watching something, um, you would trade with somebody else for what they had. And a lot of times people would just keep the tapes because once you had seen something, you just kind of moved on to the next thing. Unless you really, really wanted to keep it. Then you would ask for it back. But a lot of times I remember there was tapes that I gave to people. There was uh, tapes that were given to me because they had already seen it. So there was no need for them to check it out. And then eventually with with a lot of this stuff, like with Dragon Ball Z and, and uh, Saint Seiya, or Saint Seiya, I'm sorry, um, it was eventually uh, licensed. So there was no need to really have this, this stuff anymore. And especially once broadband hit... Um, nobody cared about VHS much anymore because then you could just, you know, get all the stuff online. But this is one of the last ones uh, that me and my brother got. This I think we got this in the early uh, 2000s, maybe 2001, 2002, this bootleg of uh, Berserk before it was licensed over here. So, I mean, it's, it's a practice that obviously continued uh, well into the early 2000s. But uh, I just want to show you guys the tapes here just show you a little bit of history this is all i have left they used to have way more than this but i don't want you guys to think that i just had pirated anime i also did buy official released anime officially licensed anime and if you guys want to see uh, my video collection of that or at least of what i have left of that i can make a video about that but just you know i just want to show you guys a little bit of history here a little bit of uh old school and you know the, the good old days how how things were prior to high-speed internet and things being completely accessible online. This is how we had to do things back then. So uh, let me know what you guys think of this video uh, in the comment section below. Uh, let me know about your collections, uh, the stuff that you picked up on bootleg VHS, uh, you know, bootleg anime VHS, what, what they were and uh, how you, what, what your exposure was to it, uh, what series you were able to discover because of things like this and Tell me some of your experiences if you did this as well. So uh, until next time, y'all know how it goes. The hunt continues.
If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, share, and comment below.